everybody. It is Wednesday, 10 a.m. in the morning. It is January 13th, 2021. Yay, another hump day. Yeah, another hump day. Okay, everybody. Now, this is actually going to be one of our more serious podcasts. I know some people don't like talking about stuff like this or voicing their opinion, and that's kind of one of the reasons why I want to do it. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the... Uh, this deals with the entertainment industry, everybody, but it deals with everything also as a whole. And we're talking about censorship. Now, uh, real quick, if you guys don't know, there was a website, and I know some of y'all who listen will be like, why are you talking about this? All right. And here's uh, something, uh, when we're getting into it, I want to let everybody know why. All right, so there was a, a, web, a website, a, a basic, a more conservative um, Facebook. It was called Parlor. Or, uh, I, I think that's the correct name. Hold on. Best I can remember. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just checking real quick. Let me look it up on my phone. You yeah, can hear me. Question is, who had it pulled out? Yeah. Um, was it the FTC? No, uh, for the people that own the platform. Well, uh, the the app got taken down by Amazon. Um, okay, enough said. Yeah, and which is a foreign company. No, it's not. Amazon's not a foreign company. Amazon's owned by uh headquarters here in America. Thank you. Look, oh, one of yours. Okay. I'll, 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 we can discuss about that later. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you know, and hey, everybody, now I heard this. Now I know for some, some of our listeners, you guys are happy about that. Some of our listeners aren't. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and make this uh, real quick here. We usually talk about nerd stuff here. All right. I got friends who um, are definitely Republican. I got other friends who are definitely Democrat. I got friends who are in the middle. We're basically. And some I don't give a you know what. Yeah, and I'm we're I guess we're kind of in the middle to we don't give a you know what. Um, we do have more conservative values. I'm not afraid to admit that, but I do have some friends who have values that uh, well, it's just they have some political opinions that we don't fully agree on. And I, this ain't a political thing, everybody. Okay, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. That's that's the big thing what I'm talking about. Um. Taking down something like Parlor, to me, is a dangerous step. Would you agree with me? Well, it boils down to what's next. That's what I mean. What's next? Uh, you know, this also can go back to, um, what was it, the Radio Wars? Uh, broadcasting Wars? Remember when they're doing like pirate radio stations over in, was it Europe? England? Okay, that was in Europe. Well, that was in England. And the BBC controlled the airwaves in England. And they didn't like rock and roll. And so there were some ships that were just outside the limit and they were playing rock and roll, which they did not approve of. And it was called pirate radio. They were playing st stuff such as... Uh, Rolling Stones, the Beatles, etc. Well, they didn't want to have any part of that, and they tried to bring it down. And the same thing happened here, right across the border in Mexico. Uh, happened in the 50s and in the early 60s, they were doing the same thing, and their signals were being broadcast into the United States. Yeah. Now, unfortunately... It wasn't political, it was music content. It was, yeah, music content. But at the same time, everybody, that what I want to, what, what I'm afraid of, because, you know, especially with the big tech companies now, you know, threatening to pull people off. I mean, there are some YouTubers that I've listened to that have uh, come off the air. Some of them spout out a lot of nonsense. I mean, they, they really do, okay? Now, one, I find it entertaining because some of them are just so out there. I get a laugh out of it, okay? Um, some of them will say something, 
and wait a minute, wait, and I'll just kind of have that look like, wait, what, what, what? And then I'll go look it up, and let's go back and check. L- 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 you know, I'll go Do back. Do your and, own fact checks, people. Right. And sometimes they're right, sometimes they're not. Oh, okay, you know, but it. I look at it like, okay, they said something that sparked my interest. Now, I'm not going to sit there and argue with the person on, online on, over that. I'm not a keyboard mm-hmm. warrior. Uh, I, ha- I have more things I have to do, I have to worry about. You know, I got my job I have to worry about. Uh, I'm trying the to bills get... Bills have to be paid. Bills have to be paid. Got to worry about the house, the animals. Um, trying to get a... Wanting to get this podcast thing more off the ground. Trying to work on stuff with that. Trying to work on... Um, the production company, you know, movie stuff I'm trying to get uh, doing. I'm trying to talk to my girlfriend. You got more important fish to fish. Yeah. As they will say. Um, and then trying to watch our anime. <laughs> well, that comes under important fish. Try yeah. now. Come on yeah. now. Yeah, we still got to watch that first episode of Attack on Titan this week. Oh, no. <laughs> the final season. But, uh, oh, what was I going to say? Um, the censorship now, you know, I've already been seeing it in the industry on, you know, they have censored certain things because people either find them offensive or they find them, uh, the information's not right. And you know, I'm just talking about like movies and TV shows. And now we, we got more happening here. I mean, what, to me, what's next, as you said? Well, exactly. That was the whole point of the rating system, was so people would know what's getting ready to come over the airwaves at a certain time or over a certain TV channel or whatever, especially when they had, you know, little children involved. Right. And, you know, especially, and I'm thinking like platforms like YouTube or, uh, very much more open end. On everything, unless you're trying to make money off of it, I love to make money off of YouTube. You know, do content like this every day. Well, you know, some, yeah, some of them do do right well. Uh, so again, PewDiePie. I think YouTube has dropped the ball. Why couldn't they use the same uh, rating system that's used by the movie and television industry? Yeah, I know. Um, that, why haven't they come out with something? Well, I, I have no idea that you got to talk to Google. Google owns YouTube. They've owned them for a couple of years. Yeah. And now, I mean, when when YouTube first came out, it's just a, a, a site for people. Just spe- a bunch of nerds trying to have fun. People having fun, making stupid videos. Um, I know it was really used, especially in the early days, for um, little indie film projects. Yeah. You know, like people in college, you know, putting up their stuff, you know, and I understand that. Uh, I've, I've actually followed a couple of, like, I guess what you can call it, um, little horror stories that people people will kind of do on their own. And, I mean, they'll have, like, a whole, that's all their page will be on was about this little horror story that they made up and make you think it's real. Augmented reality type of story. And they say, you know, they're working in the industry. Hey, they did a good job. You know, the presentation was low quality, but they made you believe it was real. Uh, they did a good job with what they were working with. Right. If they can do that with a little or nothing, hmm, wonder what they can do if they have something. Bingo. Now, with that being said, though, is it can also be used as a learning tool. Now, now everybody, I, I, I'm definitely when it comes to the entertainment industry. That especially like films and movies, I like the thing of the word escapism. Yeah, you can learn some stuff, but we're getting so worried about censoring things. We're allowing the big text to say, "Oh, well, uh, we deem this too inappropriate." Everybody, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, big big texts are, are deciding for us what we should watch. And said, so, wait a minute, you're not my mommy and you're not my daddy. You know, why should you decide what I can or cannot watch? You might put in their suggestion or, you know, or go back to the rating system, you know, and put on there, you know, why, you know, I don't think you need to watch this because of this, this, and this. That's fine, but don't tell me I can't. Okay, everybody, I don't like, um, there's certain horror movies I can't watch. I don't like it. 
I got some friends that enjoy it. Yeah, well, there's certain things that just, like you say, some people can take and others can't, and some things freak you out and others don't. Yeah, well... If it makes you feel bad, you shouldn't watch it or listen to it. Well, I mean, there's... And, you know, get, getting into also, like, censoring ship. I mean, there's a... I, you have not probably not heard about this site. It's a forum site, which is kind of like a bunch of different little chat rooms. Okay? Okay. All right? Like, they'll say something, they'll keep on going and everything. It's called Reddit. Okay? There's hundreds of Reddit pages. Like, thousands, millions of Reddit pages. Okay? Everything from fan fiction to scientific topics, history, uh, you know, all that type of stuff. Now, there's some dark stuff in Reddit, too. Uh, I do know for a fact the FBI is constantly on Reddit. Um, because there's some people that post some very sick stuff. The weirdos and the freaks. Yeah. Trying to get people to go down the dark ho rabbit hole. And... You know, technically, well, it would just be better if we kick Reddit out. Uh, well, yeah, but at the same time, you can use it as a tool. They've used Reddit as a tool. They Enticement. They've used what they're looking for. Right. They've used it as a tool to help find people, to help, uh, but you know, missing people, you know, find a kidnapper or, or, some, or you know, a murderer. You know, believe it or not, you know, these people get on that type of stuff. Um... There's also, what was I trying to think? Um, I was going to go with on, on, on censorship. Is if you, you cannot tell somebody, as, as you said earlier, you can't tell somebody, all right, if you tell a five-year-old, don't touch it, what are they going to do? They're going to touch it. Don't touch that stove, it's hot now. They get a burned finger. That should be a one-time learning experience. Right. But some people, it, they never learn. No. And I don't know this topic is probably making some people mad, and, you know, I'm sorry it is. But I feel like we shouldn't... Yes, there, there has to be a line, which I will agree. Where is the line? Okay. Now, if you're talking about murder... Uh, Death, anarchy, and stuff like that. Right, murder and mayhem. Yeah, you need to. You need help. Okay, if you're posting stuff like that, yeah, your content needs to be removed. You need, uh, you know, authorities need to get hold of you and take you to an asylum or something, you know. But just us, all right. And it, here, here is a perfect example, and this is the best way to put it. We are so worried about either offending somebody or we get offended too easily. That's just a regular marker, Dad. Mm -hmm. That there's always problems, okay? Perfect example here where we live. Alabama versus Auburn. Big football rivalry in this state. Okay, and here's another thing. Um, never insult Bear Bryant in Alabama if you want to live. You know I'm right on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. And I'm not saying he, he wasn't a good coach. You know. I'm not a good coach. I'm just not a fan of football. Oh, I know. But because I sit there and say that, I'm insulting Bear Bryant and I need to die. Which I'm not everybody, but I'm trying to use as, as an example. Yeah, but we know somebody that takes it that serious. Yes, we do. We trust. Oh, whew. I mean, I got into a fist fight with him. Yeah. And it would have been a bloody one. Yeah. Um. How was it? Another. All right. Here's another thing. We start censoring things. Um. You know, especially in media, like oh, oh where's the money going to go? It's going to go somewhere else. Perfect example. PlayStation Five sales are down in Japan. It is it, it is the worst selling I think one of the worst selling consoles in Japan at ever. This time. No, I think ever. Yeah, at this time. Yeah. 
Because they're censoring content left and right. Question is why. No, it's in it's it there uh it's in California now the um that yeah no I, I agree with you on that one I ain't gonna lie but I what, mean what's the real reason why it's being censored I don't know it makes I, I, well I think it's part of the fact is they're afraid it's either gonna offend somebody or it's inappropriate instead of letting the and we've talked about this before letting the parents or or, or the person make the choice but you know they want they want to be the parent right and I guess I guess what I'm also trying to get at this is like I said before you've got big tech trying to sit there and tell people what you can listen to what you can do uh you know we're I don't know where it's going to stop. I'm trying to keep from going around in, in a circle. I don't know where it's going to stop. Well, I'm not until people grow some cojones and stand up on, on their own hind legs and take it to them, I guess. Well, part of what, what it is, too, is people doing the censoring. Uh, you go back and you look at the bottom line. They're not getting a cut of the pie. Nine times out of ten. That's the reason why I said, well, if I don't get a cut of it, we'll just cut it out completely. Uh -huh. Yeah. I guarantee that, that have, that's at least 50% of it, if not more. Well, it also kind of reminds me of, especially when I was growing up. Now, uh, everybody, I was born in 83, okay? In the 80s, and you know, if you guys know, in the 80s, there's a there's a lot of a lot of things that came out in the 80s. Um, mm -hmm. Masters of the Universe, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Transformers, GI Joe, Thundercats, uh, Shira, um, Silverhawks, the brick cell phones. Yeah, but <laughs> there was a censorship um, on a lot of things, especially with dealing with kids stuff. Saying it's going to lead to this, it's going to lead to that. Well, I mean, they're kind of doing the same thing now with if you don't listen to this or if you listen to uh, what's going on here, you're going to go down this road. It's just like what they talked about in the music industry back in the 50s. Uh, rock and roll was going to destroy the world. Uh, well, it didn't. No they problem. destroy a lot of people. Well, they were already self-destructed before they started listening to music. This reminds me of that uh, that story. Was it uh, 1984? What about 84? It, th th this what's going on now really reminds oh. me of the book 1984. Yeah. George, or George Orwell's 1984. Oh, yeah. Anybody that ventures to read the book or look into the book, a lot of things are going on now uh, were talked about then. One of them in the book was called Newspeak, which means you talked and you thought like the government told you to do. No free will. Was, right. And they were warning against that. We wrote another book, Fahrenheit 451. Okay. Well, what does Fahrenheit 451 mean? That is the temperature at which paper burns. In other words, no books. The only books that were allowed were those that were allowed by the government. Of course, we've seen that, we've seen that picture before, uh, 1930s Germany, uh, when they rounded up books and burned them by the millions. Another thing like on censorship is you do what you're told and everything, because that's what, it, to me, what the censorship stuff is getting on about, like you said, is there's a movie called Equilibrium. And it deals with a society that uh, pretty much is, is like a what if Hitler won. And this is like, you know, years in the future. Everybody has to take a pill to shut their emotions off. Um, they have to, you know, fall in line. They have to wear, like, it's either beige, white, gray, or black. It's all they can wear. Um. Uh, no extra, you know, vibrant. No expression. Bingo. 
you know, what you just have to be another grain of sin in the uh, seaside. Another cog in the wheel. Yeah, another cog in the wheel. And if you don't fit, they pull you out and throw you to the side. Yeah, actually, the, 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 yeah, I mean, that's a metaphor for something a lot worse, but. Yeah. Now, everybody, when it comes to censorship, now, usually we'll try, um, we'll voice our opinions on it. And it's okay if it, you, you disagree with us, okay? Um, but I don't think that type of stuff should have been done the way it, I don't think it, I don't think it should have been pulled the way it was pulled. This cut off. Just pull the plug. Yeah, they just put, oh, Amazon just pulled the plug, and that's happened with a lot of things. Is over oh, just gonna pull the plug? You know. Well, it's like little children watching their cartoons in the afternoon, and all of a sudden, the parents get off the TV. You can't watch that anymore. Why? Because I said so. That's why. No, you gotta, you gotta give a proper explanation. And you can't come up with the bullshit. At, at, part of my language. Uh, a bull malarkey explanation either. And I'm talking about actual truth. I ain't talking about ring around the rosy, you know, type of thing. You know, well, it does this and this, and this is the reason why, da-da-da-da. Why? When little children ask why, they're, they're not stupid. Of course, most people can't remember when they were that age. I can. <laughs> I can at times, especially when I said why. And usually I got an answer. I might not have liked it, but I got an answer. Sometimes it would go over my head and have to go, huh? I think I learned more why answers from hearing Alonda say why than I, I did. Well, <laughs> you may be the younger of the two, but you ain't the stupider of the two. Everybody loved my sister to death, but man, being the younger, be, be, being the younger sibling, I learned what not to do. Okay, yeah, note to self, don't do that. See what she does and see what the consequences is. Everybody puts it like this. I was a junior in high school. My curfew on a football game was midnight. I was in the band too, everybody, so. Yeah. All I did was, I think we just, me and my friends just went to Taco Bell and walked around Walmart. <laughs> and every night out, walking walk to Walmart. Couldn't get to sleep. Oh, I know. Hey, got me two. Keep. Hey, I got me two v, uh, Dragon Ball Z VHSs. Uh, I was happy. Oh, I know. And don't kid yourself, guys. Uh, my dad knew the the cop that was patrolling the area because he stopped me, and he actually called. Still can't believe he called y'all. Um, I don't remember now. No, you don't. Uh, so it's just it's, it's going to be interesting, everybody. How it's going to be. Um, I mean this this is a good topic to talk about because that's the reason why we ask people. You know, if you see or hear anything, let us know. Yeah, I mean, I and. I know some people think parlors should have been pulled and everything. Well, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's, that's your opinion. That's your opinion and everything. But there's a right way and there's a wrong way of pulling something. Now, I'm, I'm actually talking from a business sense now, okay? And I know some people don't like that, but there's there's a, t there's a set of rules that you have to follow in business. If you don't, it sets. It's a dangerous slope. You're, you're sure you're sure to not only fail but to lose your shirt along with your pants in the process. Yeah, and you don't want to do that. So, mm -hmm. uh, anybody, um, please keep the comments peaceful on, you know, especially you know, on this type of on on this topic. Uh, I would like to know some opinions on what y'all think of some of the censorship stuff that's been going on lately. Uh, like I said, keep everything. We don't know everything's going on. You know, no, we help we'll, us out here. No, nah. and uh, you know, please keep it civil. Be be, a, be adults about it. Um, There's enough children in the world that need their yeah. changed. Yeah, yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Uh, like and subscribe to us uh, and share this video with your friends. Uh, 
you know, here at Nerds with the Cause, it really does help us out. We're mostly going to stick to talking about the entertainment industry, but to me, this also affects the entertainment industry a lot. And then, also, we have a Facebook. Like us there. Anything you want to add real quick, Dad? Yeah, well, just for an example, a lot of the superhero type movies a lot of people want them taken down and no more of them for instance yeah well the superhero movies have a good positive message uh, especially like Captain America that's very much what we like to call an old flag wa uh, waving movie mm -hmm. um, you know Captain America is supposed to represent the proper ideals of what it is to be an American citizen you know be a good person so, uh, selfless you know and the, I know some people who hate Captain America because of that. And the, the, I said I know people. I never said I was friends with them. Uh, believe it or not, there's some people who want to get rid of Superman. Yeah. Superman's the all America. I mean, Superman's the Boy Scout of Boy Scouts. <laughs> At least in the original incarnation. I mean. <laughs> A consummate Boy Scout. No, he was. Yeah, oh, I know. And that's, I think that's what everyone liked about him. So, okay, but we're going to end it for today. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day. Be safe out there. Uh, wear your mask. Drive safe. We'll see you on Saturday. Uh, podcast for Saturday, I will go ahead and tell you all this, is going to be us talking about the first episode of Attack on Titans, the final season. Yay, finally, we get it. Yeah, Dad's been waiting for this for a long time, everybody. Yeah. He, he's... <laughs> go back and play catch-up on some stuff. Yeah, I got to do a review on him next couple of days and talk about it. So when we do it, because he's really excited about it. So everybody, we'll see you on Saturday. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We're out.